Hello, my name's Mark, and today we're making pepper steak. And today we have a flank steak to use for our pepper steak. It's a very beautiful cut of meat that I got from the market. And you can see, I'm showing you with a knife, that it is a very big piece of meat. So I'm gonna cut it in half along the grain, just so I don't make too much. I'm gonna save the rest for another time. I cut about a pound off, and I left a pound. So I had about two pounds. And you can see here where the grain is going straight down the middle. I'm gonna cut it across that's against the grain. Make sure when you do slice the beef that you cut it against the grain. I'm cutting this in about quarter inch uh, thick pieces where they're not so thick and so they're not too thin as well. Um, sort of like how you would see it um, at a Chinese restaurant. And you can see here, I got it all cut up. It's in the bowl. The next part is to tenderize the meat. Um, the Chinese call this velvety, but it's just tenderizing the meat with a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of water. So while that's tenderizing, we can go ahead and cut on some vegetables and stuff. We're just gonna leave it there. So here we are with the vegetables. You can see this is all the vegetables we're gonna need. So it's, it's simple in that way. Um, we got green pepper, we got red pepper for color, and we have scallions, green onions. And we're not using the regular onions, but you certainly could. It's up to you. Um, we just appreciate you watching our videos and seeing how we're doing here. Uh, we're up to over a thousand subscribers now and we're getting our minutes up and we're ready to get this thing going in full steam for 2021. So what you wanna do with the peppers is uh, get them cut open, cleaned out the core and then cut them into strips. Together and show you uh, the process here. The process, it does take a minute to get everything together, but the main thing is you want to have all your vegetables cut before you put on that skillet. So it's kind of like uh, you want to have everything ready because once the stir fry is going, you're not going to be able to go back to it. So let me just show you what we did here with the vegetables and we got them all cut up, ready to go. So next we're gonna go ahead and get the marinade. Let's make the marinade because we've got the meat over there sitting and we're gonna put this uh, cornstarch, honey, uh, sherry and soy sauce in here. Kind of a dump off here. Uh, just, but so you can see it, we just went ahead and separated everything. So we got the cornstarch down and the, the, the tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm not using any salt in this recipe at all. There's going to be a repeat. There's no salt in this recipe at all other than in the soy sauce, which there's plenty. So you don't have to double dip with the salt. Uh, hold that for today. 
And then next, I just used some uh, honey that we have in the house. Uh, I think this is some organic honey, but it doesn't matter what kind of honey you got for the sweetness. Some people can just, you can use brown sugar or you can use white sugar. But certainly uh, you want to put that in there. It's not going to really overpower anything. It's just going to add to the flavor for the marinade. So you want to uh, let this uh, sit after you've marinated everything. You want to mix it together and with clean hands, obviously, and or gloves. And then just uh, kind of make sure everything's get the uh, marinade mixture on the, the beef. That beef looks really beautiful, very colorful. Uh, so we're going to make some gravy in a bowl. And then we're just going to set it aside because we're going to add it later. You can see we've got the soy sauce again, uh, the, the sherry, the sesame seed oil. And so we've got all these things that will be listed in the uh, box below. The ingredients, the instructions, everything will be down there. Make sure you comment because we like when you recommend, give us a thumbs up and you comment, you subscribe. It, we can interact with the, the community here and make sure that everybody's having fun doing this. Uh, and at the end here, we added the water and then we're just going to set it aside. We gave it a good stir. We had to come back again and stir it when we before we put it into the pan. But um, right now put in some oil uh, some vegetable oil and then just start um, putting in the meat first even before the vegetables so we're going to have and put the uh, meat in here um, we got those strips that were marinated for about 30 minutes and now they're ready to go into the pan you can see how it looks uh, after a couple minutes on each side um, and then you can just, uh, I had to do two, two steps because the pan wasn't big enough to do them all. Anyway, you can see here the first uh, batch that we took out. You can see how it looks. Uh, it has that real nice color to it, uh, the glistening of the meat. And so it's it's marinated and, and we're going to set this aside and do the second batch. We're going to repeat the process and put it in. So you can see here, it's, it's really not that difficult to get this done. Um, but it, it has some ingredients that you may not have at your home. So make sure you, you look at that and get those all in there. So we've got the uh, the second batch out now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and set that aside because next we've got to add oil to the pan, just a little bit, and then we're going to put the uh, the strips of the red pepper, the green pepper, and the shoots of the green onion that are uh, that we cut off, not the the white part of the onion, but the green part. Uh, we're going to use the white part next. But on typically like this, it depends on how you like your vegetables. I don't like it where it's mushy. So we, we still had a little give here. We probably cooked it off for about three to four minutes. I added some pepper. Again, no salt, just pepper. And just to get them all softened up, they look about uh, ready to go. They look righteous, ready to, to, to pull, pour in the other. But... As it says, cook the veggies till they're tender. You're going to put in some garlic and you're going to put in some ginger. And again, the full recipe is going to be below. But when this hit the, the pan, you immediately smell the aromatics of the garlic, the ginger, and the onion. And you just know that you're building something that's really going to be fresh and fragrant. Um, I, again, think that you guys are going to love this recipe. Um, so make sure that you, uh, you try it and give us a review. Thumbs up. And thank you for subscribing. We're going to have a giveaway here, uh, here shortly. And I want you guys to be part of it because uh, we're giving away a couple cards. Uh, we'll talk about that. 
But this is your stir fry here. Now you've got the fire all the way up. You've got the vegetables and the meat in together. And now that gravy that you set aside at the beginning, you're putting it back in, stir it up real good, and then, then pour it in. And everything will start sizzling like a stir fry. And once you get that, you start moving everything around quickly because you don't want it to just all sit on one side. So you just want to kind of flip everything around. And it turned out gorgeous. The, uh, the plated picture that we have here uh, looks really good. And thank you so much for watching.